My name is uh, Roman Pastor. I'm uh, Vice President and the General Manager of uh, HP's 3D printing business. So we have had the pleasure today to introduce uh, HP Jet Fusion uh, 3D printer series. Uh, really, really excited. We think that this will uh, radically transform that people, what people do for prototyping, prototyping on the same day, and really access economically to short runs and, uh, and mid runs of uh, production volume. And this is thanks to the 10 times faster speed half the cost versus other 3D printing uh, technologies and this consistent and repeatedly uh, doing functional parts. So, really excited. The thing is that not only we have uh, developed a printer, but we have actually introduced the whole uh, solution. Solution from a point of view of uh, the Jet Fusion uh, 3D printer, but also the build unit, the processing station, so basically we deliver to our customers an end-to-end solution. So we introduced the Jet Fusion uh, 3200, uh, targeted to uh, prototyping, really very, very low cost with the value proposition I just uh, mentioned, and the 4200, this is more targeted to production applications, where basically the machine will be faster, the cooldown process will be much, much, much faster, and a much lower running cost. One of the unique things about technology, multi-jet fusion, is that we're able to control the material properties at the voxel level. What this means in our first generation, the machines that we just uh, introduced, that we can control the thermal conductivity at voxel level, meaning that we can change how the part is fused and have very, very sharp edges, very good accuracy. On the future, we'll use this voxel by voxel control to do color or to embed sensors on parts. Really, the, 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 the applications on the future are endless and we are very, very excited to have this uh, foundational technology. So we've uh, chosen to work from day one with, uh, with partners. Partners that have helped us in this uh, development uh, process with very, very, very unique uh, insights. Uh, partners coming from uh, manufacturing, partners come from uh, automobile industry, from uh, consumer goods. So we've have had their operators, their engineers in our labs. So actually we have been perfecting our, uh, our, uh, our uh, project, perfecting our product uh, with close contact with them. And I think it's very, very important, especially us that we are new in the market, to have this co-development with, uh, with these partners. Regarding material, what we have engaged is an open uh, platform for materials. So we have opened our uh, technology and we have invited the main uh, uh, materials company to innovate on top of our uh, platform. And uh, today we have announced the uh, Ivonic, Arkima, BASF, Lehman Bosch are uh, on board. They are developing their own materials. And uh, actually we will be offering all of these uh, materials, HP branded and third party certified materials to our customers. What we really want is to encourage more and more materials going from high performance thermoplastic to really low cost uh, commodity plastics. Today we have announced the, the first generation that will be available at the end of the year we are working already in parallel with the second generation. Second generation will, will come time after, not next year. Uh, and we will be, uh, again, uh, pushing the, the limits of uh, 3D printing as we know today. Uh, with uh, performance, with uh, cost, with voxel by voxel control. So I think that it's uh, very important to educate the market. To educate that now they have tools that can truly produce short and mid runs. That the cost is there, economically the cost is there, and once the cost is there, and you have the machines on your hands, you can begin to do things in a different way. You can begin to design, uh, looking at 3D uh, from, uh, from the start, and you can begin to uh, imagine applications at the voxel level. But the first thing is to hit economics. And this is the thing that we want to educate the market, that now they have a new break-even point versus injection model.